They all fucking know. Everyone knows they're real. at the Bay Club and uh, had a good workout. I was playing ball this morning. Miss playing ball. If you're a Marin and want to play some ball, let me know. Um, but I wanted to kind of like record this real quick is because I uh, just posted on my Instagram story about my mission of the day. And I want to start doing this. I think it's going to help a lot of you. It's going to help a lot of you, uh, you know, having a mission of the day. You know, a lot of you guys are like, Malik, what do you do? What are you doing now? A lot of you guys know me from Fitness SF and know that I'm doing um, the SC Fit thing now, but don't really know what I'm doing. And so I also thought that a lot of you guys might want to have little hacks, little tips to like have progress in your day or have like productivity. And so this is what I'm starting to do is just have a mission for my day. I do this already, but now I just want to kind of like share it with you guys, uh, let it be known, put it in the vlog or whatever. And uh, my mission of the day, I just posted my Instagram story was... is training you know but I used to also be a football coach and training high school athletes is like one of my favorite things in the world because of their, their mindset their energy they're just always so like you know, most of the time they're optimistic and like the thing that I love about you know high school athletes or like young athletes most of the time most of the time is that they are willing to learn like they are um, they're they're a little bit more humble than say like an adult who's already like had experience already built up their beliefs you know high school athletes are usually a little bit um, less uh, stubborn on their beliefs and they're willing to learn and they're willing to uh, take advice take constructive criticism and that's something that I've learned to like you know as I get older and I'm trying to like progress in my life is to take constructive criticism and not take it personally but take it and then use it to better myself I feel like a lot of people I used to do this as well but I think a lot of people take constructive criticism too personally and it doesn't allow them to progress so you know before I go train this Redwood team I just want to say like you know have the humility to take constructive criticism as uh, something that's gonna help you out something that's gonna benefit you don't take it personally and don't take it in a negative way the person who's usually saying it um, usually they're trying to help you out and they have your best interest at heart all right guys as you know we are now gonna answer your questions at the end of every vlog and the first question is by Luca and he asked Hey Malik, hope all is well. I'm wondering if you have any suggestions for my issue. Whenever I barbell bench, not dumbbell, I get a sharp pain in the circle area of my left hand only. So you drew a little circle uh, where the pain was. McDavid wrist wraps help, but looking for a more permanent fix. Luca, thank you so much for asking the question and I'm super excited to answer it for you. I answered it in a video form. Here it is. Come on guys, I have something to help you guys out. If you guys are having like pain in your wrist during bench press or doing um yeah, the bench press, not dumbbells, but bench press. If you guys have pain in your wrist, what it causes that is usually a, a tendon that is like strained or weak that is getting a lot of force. And so what you want to do, especially if you're bench pressing and you're a righty, if you're going to push hard with your right, it's going to be a lot of pressure on that left hand. That's just what I'm assuming, Luca. Um, so what you want to do is you want to strengthen those muscles in that wrist. So do a lot of like, you know, get your hand in a bowl of rice and just, you know, move it around. Get a stress ball or um, do, uh, 
do waiter carries with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. That's just right here and you just walk like 10, 20 feet back and forth. And I think that's gonna help just strengthen those muscles and your ligaments in your wrist and it should help the pain.